Valmiki, Sanskrit, Valmiki Valmiki, is celebrated as the harbinger poet in Sanskrit literature. The epic Ramayana, dated variously from 5th century BCE to 1st century BCE, is attributed to him, based on the attribution in the text itself. He is revered as Adi Kavi, the first poet, author of Ramayana, the first epic poem. Ramayana, originally written by Valmiki, consists of 24,000 shlokas and seven cantos kandas, including Uttara Kanda. Ramayana is composed of about 480,002 words, being a quarter of the length of the full text of the Mahabharata or about four times the length of the Iliad. The Ramayana tells the story of a prince, Rama of the city of Ayodhya in the kingdom of Kosala, whose wife Sita is abducted by Ravana, the demon king Rakshasa of Lanka. The Valmiki Ramayana is dated variously from 500 BCE to 100 BCE or about Koaval with early versions of the Mahabharata. As with many traditional epics, it has gone through a process of interpolations and redactions, making it impossible to date accurately. British satirist Aubrey Meenan says that Valmiki was recognized as a literary genius and thus was considered an outlaw, presumably because of his philosophic skepticism as part of an Indian Enlightenment period. Valmiki is also quoted to be the contemporary of Rama. Menon claims Valmiki is the first author in all history to bring himself into his own composition. Rama met Valmiki during his period of exile and interacted with him. Valmiki gave shelter to Sita in his hermitage when Rama banished her. Kusha and Lava, the twin sons of Sri Rama were born to Sita in this hermitage. Valmiki taught Ramayana to Kusha and Lava, who later sang the divine story in Ayodhya during the Ashwamedha Yajna congregation, to the pleasure of the audience, whereupon, King Rama questioned who they were and later visited Valmiki's hermitage to confirm if Sita, the two children claimed as their mother was in fact his wife in exile. Later, he summoned them to his royal palace. Kusha and Lava sang the story of Rama there and Rama confirmed that whatever had been sung by these two children was entirely true. <laughs> Early life Valmiki was born as Agni Sharma to a Brahmin named Prasheta also known as Sumali of Bragugotra. According to legend he once met the great sage Narada and had a discourse with him on his duties. Moved by Narada's words, Agni Sharma began to perform penance and chanted the word, Mara, which meant, kill. As he performed his penance for several years, the word became Rama, the name of Lord Vishnu. Huge anthills formed around Agni Sharma and this earned him the name of Valmiki. Agni Sharma, rechristened as Valmiki, learnt the scriptures from Narada and became the foremost of ascetics, revered by everyone. Topic: The first shloka. Valmiki was going to the river Ganges for his daily ablutions. A disciple by the name Bharadwaja was carrying his clothes. On the way, they came across the Tamasa stream. Looking at the stream, Valmiki said to his disciple, Look, how clear is this water, like the mind of a good man. I will bathe here today. When he was looking for a suitable place to step into the stream, he saw a crane couple mating. Valmiki felt very pleased on seeing the happy birds. Suddenly, hit by an arrow, the male bird died on the spot. Filled by sorrow, its mate screamed in agony and died of shock. 
Valmiki's heart melted at this pitiful sight. He looked around to find out who had shot the bird. He saw a hunter with a bow and arrows, nearby. Valmiki became very angry. His lips opened and he cried out, Manisada Pratistham Tivamagama Sasvati Sama Yapkron Kamathuna Dekamawadi Kamamohitam Ma Nisada Pratistha Tivamagama Sasvati Sama Yat Kraun Kamathuna Dekamavadi Kamamohitam You will find no rest for the long years of eternity. For you killed a bird in love and unsuspecting emerging spontaneously from Valmiki's rage and grief, this is considered to be the first shloka in Sanskrit literature. Valmiki later composed the entire Ramayana with the blessings of Lord Brahma in the same meter that issued forth from him as the shloka. Thus this shloka is revered as the first shloka in Hindu literature. Valmiki is revered as the first poet or Adi Kavi and Ramayana, the first Kavyar poem. His first disciples to whom he taught the Ramayana were Kusha and Lava, the sons of Rama. Prasatsoam Dasama Putra Raghavanandana na Smaramyantam Vakumimau Tutavar Putrakau 96-16 In another verse, it is also stated that he is from the lineage of the sage Bhargava. Sanabadam hai slokanam katervan satsahasrakam upakyanasatam kaiva bhagavina tapasvina 94-24 Topic. Incarnation Vishnudharmatara Purana says that Valmiki was born in the Treta Yuga as a form of Brahma who composed Ramayana and that people desirous of earning knowledge should worship Valmiki. He was later reincarnated as Tulsidas, who composed the Ramcharitamanas, which was the Awadhi Hindi version of the Ramayana. Topic. Temples An area in Chennai, Tiruvanmiyur is believed to derive its name from Sage Valmiki, Thiru Valmiki or There is a temple for Valmiki located in this place, which is believed to be 1,300 years old. Also, Sri Valmiki Mata Maha Samsthana in Rajanahali, Karnataka. In popular culture In 1963, Valmiki, a Kannada movie, was made, starring Dr. Rajkumar. Topic. See also Barmiki caste Barmiki sect Chura Sri Rama